Hey everyone, Mysterio Infinite here, and welcome back to part 5 of my playthrough of the Isle of Armor. In the last episode, uh, we completed the Water Tower and we evolved Cupview to Urshfu. And I think we have now to uh, go back to the dojo where we are now. And yeah, let's talk to Mustard. Maybe we have completed the whole Isle of Armor, maybe not. Let's find out. There's Hop. Oh hey, welcome back Bastian. Looks like you've been hard at work keeping up your training here at the dojo. Hop, what are you doing here? Surprised. And nicely done Bastian. That's just the reaction, I the reaction I was hoping for. I'm here on the Isle of Arm to research more about the Dynamics phenomenon. So we're here that you two are friends. How delightful. Hoppy Kins here was just asking my permission to camp out on the Isle of Arm. But where's the fun in mucking about in the mud? I was telling him he should stay here at the dojo. I mean, it's, it'd be loads easier than camping out for a long while. But wouldn't, wouldn't I be in the way? Everybody's welcome to wear out their welcome at the master's dojo. Don't be shy, my boy. Besides, we're practically family already. You're, li you're the little brother of our leader, after all. Yeah, it's true. Lee get trained here when we were both kids. Alright then, Master Mossad, you've twisted my arm. I hope you don't regret it because I'm staying. Ooh, the more the merrier. And please has a punch in a gold plated. Punch bowl. Which reminds me, Bassam, I've got something I've been meaning to tell you about Kupfu or really its evolution, or Shfu. The truth is, the lovable Rasko is capable of gigantic action too. But it's a it's a bit tricky because it really can't stand the taste of Mike's mushrooms. So Max soup is off the menu, unless you can make it more appealing to him. There's a certain something you can find there on the Isle of Armor though. That'll make even Urshfu gobble up a bowl of Max soup. That certain something is... That certain something is... That certain something is... It's actually... The suspense here is killing me. Actually, I forgot what it, what it is. Oopsie doopsie. Are you kidding me? No. You're, you're even more fun to tease than your brother evil ever was. The certain something I'm thinking of is sure to make is sure to make make next soup more palatable for to urge food. And it has something to do with another Pokemon. Now I think I'll let the two of you figure it out, just what it is. Give it a good thing together. You're on your own kiddos, the world is your cloister so get cracking. Is this uh, how your training usually goes? I've really got no rip rapid edge in it this race, but even I'm pretty curious about that certain something. I think I read something about Urshfu in a book once too. It's the Wushu Pokemon, right? Book said it lives in the mountains in some far off region. Does it really? Uh, you didn't know? Don't you have one, Bastian? But yeah, I think I read that the Urshu Pokemon is absolutely mad for some kind of sticky honey. Honey is made from nectar of flowers and plants, right? So maybe we need a nectar made by some Pokemon that looks like a flower and plants. And if we're looking for the, those kinds of Pokemon, then I reckon there might be lots in the forest. I'll be able to look at Dynamaxing along the way, so count me in for some exploration. There's a forest past the big marshland, right? Bet I can still beat you there. Alright, so let's head to the forest. And before we're doing that, let's put the Volcarona, Venus, Star, and Luxray back. So we can have a little bit more fun. Yes, three good IVs, alright. Not too shabby. So yeah, let's head to uh, the forest. Oh. 
I really love this part of the wild area. Oh, Licky Town. I haven't caught that yet. I only got Licky Licky. So here we are. Finally, Bastian, I've been waiting forever for you. I thought Glim Wu Tango was a real maze, but this place is on an entirely different level. And it's so hot and humid that I'm sweating a pond over here. Sonia and I split up places to survey, and she opted for the cold and snow and all. Too bad we can't somehow divide this heat up between us too. We both feel a bit better. Anyway, I was checking out this forest of focus place while I was waiting for you to show up. And I saw signs that Lilligant and Eplin live here. Maybe we can gather a bit of sweet nectar that Urshfu should love from their flowers and fruits. So we have to go to find Lilligant and... What is it? Tilly. This is the first evolution of Petalil. Of Petilil. Petal evolves into Lilligant, which is just the Pokemon we're looking for. He doesn't. Hey, doesn't that Petalo seems to be acting a bit strange? That looks sad, indeed. Yeah, now that you mention it, it's still pretty little. Maybe it got separate from his parents. <laughs> That's way too cute. Whoa. Who you're glowing onto, mate? You really must be lost if you think I'm your mom. And now I'm stuck, okay? You've gotta help us out here, Bastian. Go find us one of Pedalus' parents or something, would you? Look for for some worried looking Lilligant. I'll wait here with this little one. I'm afraid I'll step on it if I start walking around. Alright, so now we have to find a Lilligant. Is that an Eplin? Over there? Oh no, I think it's a Fenabeat. But let's not get distracted. And. Ooh, an Oranguru. I still have to catch that. What's this? Hyper Potion. Yeah, let's just catch Oranguru. Why not? Oh, I already got one. Oh. I didn't even know that. Alright, there's another Fenipede. Yeah, I really love Urshfu. Very great. Ooh, that are some G Max uh, Max mushrooms. We definitely are going to take those with us. No, there's nothing here. There's an Amoongus. I really love this forest. It looks very cool. Oh, let's see who's in the dead dynamic stand. And she makes Norlex. Alright, I already got one. But you know, it's fun to catch another. Oh, there's better little. Or little get, sorry. Yeah, it looks pretty uh, sad. We've got your pedal ale. So now we have two Pokemon following ours. Alright.
Yeah, this forest is really, really cool. I think I was somewhere over here, if I'm right. It's Pikachu. Yeah, there he is. Oh, you brought Lilligant. Uh, no, you definitely did not. Did you lose it along the way, maybe? Uh. Here, he, here she is. Finally, Bastian, and you found Lilligant. Oh. Yeah, it looks like they both pretty happy to see each other. What do you, what do you think, Bastian? Let's say Lilligant is trying to say thank you. Uh, is this some of the nectar from your flower, Lilligant? So we got the nectar from Lilligant, and now we have to see get something from the appling. Nice one, Bastian. Now we got some of Lilligant's nectar. Hopefully, this nectar is sweet and sticky, just like Urshfu likes it. Hmm, I definitely would call it very sticky. It's very pretty watery. I don't think this is what you need, mate, but at least we did a good deed anyway. Come on, let's give Appling's nectar a ne try next. So let's follow up in again into the forest. And also this music is very cool. Give me some Scott Scottish uh, vibes. Ooh, a tang rope. I didn't catch that. Oh there's an airplane. I really love Flapple. There is an Eplin. <laughs> That's way too cool. This is rotten. I don't see the Eplin anywhere. But I'm sure it was running off this way. Basta, we've got to find an Eplin. I think it's in tree made. <laughs> yes, something's wrong with the berry tree. Ouch, the Eplin clocked you right on the head. No, don't roll away. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, I'm running off again. Uh, is your head feeling a bit moist? That's gotta be Eplin's nectar on you. It might have given us a slip, but at least we still got what we came for. But it, but it is Eplin's nectar sweet enough for Ursh food. Well, like to say, the proof is is to be puddling or the Eplin. So let's give it a try. Hmm, I don't think you described it as sticky exactly. It's more like juice or something. Lilligan's nectar wasn't it. Eplin's nectar wasn't it. They weren't really sticky enough to be the sticky honey that Urshfu loves. Come to think of it, they aren't really honey at all, are they? I was thinking nectar and honey were the same thing, so I was looking for plants and flowers. But was I just barking up the wrong tree? Whoa, a fellipede. I don't see one of those every day. It's a cute looking, right? But it can't proceed a really thick, gooey potion inside its body, making it pretty dangerous. That, that's it! I was stuck on Pokemon that produce nectar, but what we really need is a Pokemon that uses that sort of nectar to produce something else. Something like honey? Yes, and when it comes to Pokemon that collect and store up lots of nectar to make honey, well, the answer is obvious, right? 
AI if the BI Pokemon has got to be got to be the answer or sure of it this time. And Vespaquin is the BI Pokemon, right, Bastian? Have you ever, ever seen one? Yes. If we're talking about the iron armor, I think we should find some on the island shaped like a honeycomb over near the big blue tower. Now that we know we're going, now that we know where we're going, I'm off. Don't make me wait, Bastian. <coughs> Sorry. So I think we have to go back to the water tower. There's a Pikachu over there. Oh. Alright, so let's just catch this tank grove. Let's see if a quick ball will do the trick. That's one. No. Alright, let's see how much an aerial ace will probably KO. How much does a surgeon strike? That looks way too cool. I think this Urshifu is directly going to the uh, Uber Steer. Alright, let's just use certain strikes one more time. Alright. And the last one. There we go. Alright, let's use a uh, Ultra Ball right now. That's one. And still escape. This is gonna be a hard one. Yeah, we could have could have expected. Oh, also a crit. Uh. Let's see if he can survive a crunch. I'm really happy that they put uh, Luxray on the Isle of Armor. Alright. That's one. Why is it so hard to catch a strength growth? Let's just use Crunch one more time. So it's in red again. And there we go. Hopefully this time it will be... Why is it so hard to catch this thing? Do we have a timer ball or something? Let's see. No, I don't think we have. Maybe we can try... The net ball? Is the bug type? No, I think it's just grass. Or maybe not. Was he a bug type? No, pure grass. Alright, pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, let's just use a Max Revive on the Urshfu.
And yeah, let's just put you away in the box. Alright, let's find the honeycomb shaped island. Nearby the water tower. was over there. So let's use the shortcut. Nope. But first we are gonna have a battle with the Trapion. Or we're not gonna have a battle, but we're gonna run. Because we lost a lot of time against the battle uh, against the tank bro. So what's the honeycomb shaped island? Is it that one or that one? I'm not sure. Let's just first try that one. And there's already a Sharpedo uh, going to attack us. Oh yeah, this is the Honeycomb scene. Yeah, those Sharpedos are really, really fast. It was this one. Dear Abbas, yeah? glad you could finally make it. I've seen loads of combi around, but no sign of Vesper Queen so far. But they they are the ones that have sticky honey. Uh, I borrowed a power spot detector from Sonya, but why it's going off now? Is it reacting to the tree here? Something's got to be up, Asian. I think we should check it out. All right, let's check it out. There's a cloying smell of thick, rich honey coming from the top of the tree. Will you shake it? Oh yes, let's do it. <laughs> what is happening now? Oh, it's a dynamite battle. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad uh, whatever it came from the tree sucks you into a Pokemon then. I'm glad that they uh, add some facial expressions. <laughs> right. So let's uh, have a battle. It's just a 1v1, so let's see how strong this Vespa Queen is. It's pretty strong. Got the speed boost. Please don't do that. Are we done now or maybe switch out the... Uh no, wait, we might we may switch out. But it's a shame that Fulgrove doesn't have 
a fire type move or that I don't te teach them one yet. But you know. What's Luxray? A special attacker or a physical attacker? Yeah, a wreck just a physical attacker, but his ability rivalry really sucks in this situation. So let's see how much a wild charge does. Mm, not too bad. The changes. All right. Yeah, let's use Spring Penis area. Just use Double Edge. Which does nothing. Great. Oh, please don't do that. Uh, I think we're just gonna do we have another match revive now. Uh, I think we're just gonna revive the Earth Foo. So we can uh, bring him down. Maybe the luxury was a better option. Yeah, let's just also revive the luxury. Restore the luxury. How much does that? It chaos. Oh, it was a crit. And it got another attack boost. This is gonna be another close one. Let's just bring Urshifu first. That does just nothing. And let's kill. Oh no. Let's see how mu much a surging strike does. We have to stab and a critical hit. Hmm, not too bad. Yeah, that's KO. Alright. I think we're gonna lose here, but let's see. If Luxray can clutch. No, I think this is game. Right, that's all right. Something's got to be up our sound. I think we should check it out. Oh, we, I think we're just gonna do it again. Uh, but I think we're gonna leave that for to do in the next episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And yeah, for now, bye-bye.